I don't know about you, but I am so tired. I'm not. I don't know why I'm so tired. I just okay. feel exhausted. I don't because I need to rest my knees to sleep all night and day. Unless I have something to do. I'm tired. You tired? Mm-hmm. Well, you had appointments this morning. I did. I got up earlier than I usually get up. You got up super early. You got up so early, you took a, a lift to your eye appointment. Yep. And you got your, your glaucoma checked. Yep, got all the tests done, and, and I'm good, good to go for a couple of months. Yep, you got to uh, take some drops in your eyes. Take some... Think my eye eyelashes long. They will? Mm-hmm. That's a side effect. Oh, Daddy's going to be gorgeous. He's going to have some gorgeous true? eyelashes. Yeah. They actually, the, the uh, makeup industry actually is, that uses that. Some people use those drops so they can grow their eyelashes longer. Seriously? That's interesting. Huh. Huh. Interesting. So Daddy got that done this morning and then... As soon as he got home, we went and, and got Anna all casted up. Yeah. But I gotta tell you why. Because there's a certain thing why. So you can see on my cast, I got an all pink. Because they match my dress. <laughs> I got an all pink because they match my dress. Mm-hmm. And I like pink. That's why I got an all pink. But that's not the reason I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you to tell you why I have these. And why they help me. So you know I have a rare condition called osteoporosis. It affects me in all four limbs. Especially my left foot. Because it was like pretty much completely turned upside down when I was born. So that's, this guy's always been the hard one. But this guy over here is fine. It's just this guy that's always been the hard one. Mm-hmm. So we're always like doing a cast on this leg. Because of that foot, we need to make it go from here to here. Because it was it was here, then it was here, and now it's here, and we're trying to get it here. So we're trying to get it more straight than the break than these kinds of braces do. They're called AFOs. Yeah, the guys you wear every day. Yeah, all day, every day. Unless I wear capos at night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I basically, they basically just lay a layer of stockinette. Like, so it's called, real quick I want to tell you, before I tell how you do, how they do it, did it. Cere- it's called cereal casting. And cereal is not how you spell, like, you, the cereal that you, that you eat. <laughs> it's spelled with an S. Not a C. So it's called cereal casting. The cereal means like multiple. So they put on a set of casts, you leave it for like a day or so. Like three days or so. Yeah. <laughs> At least three days. Yeah. And then take them off, put a new pair on, wait, take them off, put a new pair on. That's basically how they do it. Mm-hmm. Because if like Sam left foot, they're trying to get it straight. Mm-hmm. So if it's straight, then my foot will be straight. Mm-hmm. So they have to do multiple casts to get it from bent to straight. That's why it's called serial casting. Mm-hmm. And we're doing um, these armsies too. So this is how they do it. Yeah, um, well, they do it differently on the arm ones than they do on the legs. There's just one layer that's missing on the arms. Because they don't do it. So first, they put a layer of stockinette on my leg. What is stockinette? Well, stockinette is basically... (laughs) It's basically like a sock that's cut off at the end. That doesn't... It doesn't have... Like, if you look at my sock right here, Mm -hmm. you see it doesn't... My toes can't peek out. Mm -hmm. It's basically just a long version of a longer version of a sock that goes up to like here and there's boxes of it too 
So it's basically just a long sock that's cut off at the toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why do they put that on first? Well, because I'll t when, I'll tell you that when I finish telling you what else oh. they do. Okay. Just so you, it's, you can get some more context. Okay. Yeah. So first they put on the stockinette, then they wrap cotton around it just to kind of pad it so it doesn't, the, the plaster doesn't poke. Then they put on a layer of plaster, and plaster is basically like, it's like a hard, like a, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like cotton, just a hard version of that. When you dip it, you dip it in water, you wrap it around the leg, and then you kind of smooth it out, and then it gets really hard. It seems like a roll of cotton when you take it out of the package, right? Because it's yeah, fluffy. Yeah, it's, it's fluffy and soft. But then they wet it. Yeah, the wet it makes it so... Because you know when you put up your hair and it's kind of frizzy? Yeah. And it, the, the water kind of sticks to the other parts of the hair so it makes it not frizzy? Uh-huh. That's, that's kind of how it makes plaster. Uh-huh. Because it's it's kind of like cotton because cotton's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like cotton when you pull it out. Then you dip it in you in the water and then you wrap and then you wrap it around and it hardens up. Right. There's like a a reaction. Yeah, it hardens up. Because there is it was fluffy, then you put water on it, then it hardens up again and dries out. Yeah. It's a roll of plaster. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so they they wrap it around me, around the leg. Mm-hmm. And you have to hold the leg in the position you want it, mm -hmm. because the plaster dries up really fast. Mm -hmm. And if you and if you move it, and it dries up, and you're like, oh, I forgot to put it back. You can't put it back because it's already been dried up. So you all, whoop, you're falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> She's falling asleep. <laughs> keep going. Just keep your eyes open like this. I'm working on it. I have a very special trick to keep you from falling asleep. What? Open your eyes really wide, <laughs> and then and then close them really tight. Then open them up really wide again, then close them really tight, and then go back to right to your normal position of eyes. Okay. And All right. And then it'll probably wake you up. You're right. I feel better. Okay. And, and your eyes will be open. Plaster. Back to your plaster. <laughs> My plaster. Yes. So you have to hold the leg in the position. While you wrap up the plaster, don't get your hands stuck in there. <laughs> you wrap up the plaster, smooth it out. Then they put on the layer of fiberglass. It's basically the exact same thing as plaster because it starts out kind of fuzzy, but it's not that fuzzy. It's actually big. It's it's actually not not big, but like it's it's like hard kind of. It's like hard. So when you put when you take it out of the package, it's hard. So you dip it in water, then you wrap it, 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 and you wrap it around the plaster. And the fiberglass doesn't really do much. It's just kind of for decoration. It provides some support. Yeah, it provides some support, but it's mostly for decoration. No, it makes sure the plaster doesn't fall apart. Yes. So remember, Miss Fran said that they want to use plaster on your legs because when they are working on the feet and the position of the feet, there's it's so intricate, right? There's so many little nuances to which way your foot bones have to go that they need to work with a product that is more malleable, something that they can really work with and form. And so the plaster it almost works like a almost like pottery right you see them like smoothing their thumb against it and really pushing your foot into the position it needs to be in right and but the problem with plaster is when you move around the house in it like if you were scooting around the rug pieces of the plaster would fall off and get all over the rug and stuff so they wrap it in the fiberglass to keep it from breaking apart on you when you when you have it on for a few days and to give you a little decoration yeah. It's mostly for just keeping the plaster where it needs to be so if it falls out it doesn't fall onto the rug or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but it's it's nine like eighty percent of it is to help the plaster mm -hmm. with its job. And how many colors of fiberglass are there? There's like I don't know. Which different ones have you had before? I've had pinky mm -hmm. and what else? Did I have blue? You've had blue, you've had black, you've had purple, you've had uh, have you had green? No, and I haven't had black either. You did. You had black when you were when you were two and a half. Yes, ma'am. I don't remember. Yeah, you were little. Hmm. Were my legs up to here? Yeah. <laughs> Do that again. That's loud. Do that. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's loud because. You're scraping, you're scraping cast against fiberglass. Cast. So that's how they do the foot, and you can see. Let me see your foot. You can see this Sorry, is oh plaster right that's there. Cotton. See this stuff here is plaster. This is cotton, <laughs> and this is fiberglass. Yep. And then and then they're stocking it on the inside too. Yeah, and you said you were going to say what this, what's the point of the stockinette? Well, when I was talking about cotton, the cotton helps provide, like, kind of, because the if you touch the, the fiberglass and plaster, it's really hard and kind of, kind of scrapey, and it kind of scrapes. So the stockinette and cotton is basically just a kind of, fluff up that scrapiness and make it softer and it, so it doesn't scrape. And then you said they do your arms differently? Yeah. Well, they, do, they, they basically do my arms the exact same. It's just there's one layer that they that they um, purposely miss. What? Plaster. They don't put plaster on the arm because you don't need it. You don't need plaster on the arms. And for one, you don't need plaster on the arms. Because you're not going to be scraping your arms against anything. And for two, you don't need it because it might it might make it make it really heavy for you to move your arms around. So if you still have your fingers out and you can move them around, you might not want it to be super heavy. Hmm. So those are the two reasons that and they come have. come a little closer and show them your your arm cast up close. See how you can see those like these lines? Those lines are where they wrapped the fiberglass. Now with your leg cast, they're trying to to manipulate your foot back into a more straight position. What are they trying to do with your arm casts? The well the arm casts, you know when I have arthritis poses and it um if it, when it affects my wrist, it has a calcification right here on my wrist. So it makes it so I can't straighten out my wrist. So we're kind of trying to break that calcification by using these casts and trying to kind of straighten out my wrists. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it really breaks the calcification, but it gives it a nice good stretch. stretch stretches out those tendons and, and ligaments and kind of forces that that bone to open up a little bit more. Um, so we can get you a little bit closer to neutral because then uh, Miss Mary, your OT, is going to make you some new what? Wrist splints! Wrist splints that you sleep in, yeah. Um, what else? So you got both wrists casted. How long do you have to leave the casts on? Like a day. Like No, two days. More than that. Three? So you got them on today. It's Friday. So I think every... Well, you're going to do three sets of wrist casts and two sets mm -hmm. of leg casts. So it's multiple days of casts and then uh, wrist splints. And then later, because we just found out what about your braces, <laughs> tell them if they missed the live this morning, tell them what they missed. Tell them what the good news was. We posted the picture yesterday. So I, I want to tell them about it. Yeah, you tell her. First. So, you know... How I've always been talking about my AFOs. Mm -hmm. Those are my braces, and there's a there's a really amazing guy in that in New York, 
And he's the one who made these braces. So we, we went up to New York for him to make these braces for me. And guess what the good news is about him? He's coming down to Florida! Like permanently? Yeah. Like he's moving so that he can provide services yeah. down here with Dr. Feldman. And that is fantastic news. Because yeah. we don't have to travel to, to New York anymore for your AFOs and, and your KFOs. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a cool. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw a couple people asking if you still have to do stretching on your right knee while your left leg is in a cast. Yes, I do. Um, why do you still have to do stretching? Well, because if I ever get my right leg casted again, you still want that range. And also, I, I need that range to walk, even, with, even without these casts on. Yeah. Well, if you didn't do that stretching, you would have to do casting on the other leg to, to make up the regression. Because Both if, legs, too. Because the problem is, if you don't stretch every other night, your, your knees regress. And that's the whole point of stretching, is to prevent the regression. So we have to be very strict and very on top of stretching all the time until she's done growing at least um, to, to prevent that regression so she doesn't have to have more surgery, right? Because stretching is so much better than surgery and rehab, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank God I don't have cast on. <laughs> That's what she has to say. <laughs> Uh, what else? Let me see if anybody has any... any Questions? <laughs> settle. <laughs> Calm down. Funny. I'm just way too funny. Of course. <laughs> and they have to prove it. There's some kind of weird tree bark thing on our floor. Let's see. Um, I'm looking. I'm reading comments. <laughs> Dora says she's such a smart young lady. Mm-hmm. Christina wants to know if that's a dress or a romper you have on. It's a dress. Mm -hmm. She's got little shorts on underneath. Um, Brooke, oh, it went by so fast. I, I saw Brooke ask something about if your braces hurt. No, I, I never have pain with my braces. Kathy wants to know how you stretch when you have one leg in a cast. The same way we always stretch. Just yeah. you only do one leg. Yeah. We, so basically, you don't. we don't stretch when I have both legs in casts. Because you can't stretch. <laughs> you need gigantic kafos to stretch. But also you can't stretch because plaster. Yeah. Mary says, so. can Anna walk in that now? In what? In the cast. Well, if I can't walk in them if they're bent, but if, if they're straight, I can. But we don't think you're doing straight this time. I think we're just doing flexion. So, no, the answer is no. Anna cannot walk while she has her leg stuck in flexion. Anna could not walk until she was over, until she was three years old because her legs were both stuck in flexion because that's how she was born. This used to be how her legs were stuck from birth. That's why she had major double leg surgery. Jan wants to know if the casts make you itchy. No, they, they, they don't, they don't make me itchy. Because if, if you look, look on this cast right here. Look, look where, where my toes are not there. Mm -hmm. If you, if you see right there on the very, very top layer, Right, right where my, my the socket where my toes is, mm -hmm. toesies are. You can see how it's soft, and there's soft doesn't make me itchy. So, I think a lot of times, and I don't know for sure because I've never broken anything, but I feel like a lot of times people itch inside their casts because they typically have casts because they have a broken bone, and I think broken bones uh, itch. Like make your arm itchy while they're healing, babe. When you had your your arm break um, and everything was put back together surgically, did it itch while it was healing? 
Yeah, etched inside. Um, a little bit on the outside, but mainly I felt stuff going on inside my... Yeah. I feel like things are itchy when they heal. So I think that itchiness that a lot of people experience when they have casts on is actually due to the bone healing and not, you know, and, and yeah, casts do, and also you're wearing that cast for six, eight, 12 weeks. And so it gets really funky inside. But serial casting, they don't wear them long enough uh, for that to happen. So I don't think that, that these kiddos have as much itching with the serial casting. Interesting to see. Yeah, Tracy says it's the dead skin that itches. That makes sense. Um, let's see if there's any other questions about the casting process or Anna's arthritis. Rona says, what did Dr. Feldman think about how much you've grown? He thought it was pretty crazy. <laughs> Cause the last time, the last time I came there, wasn't it like August of last uh, year? No, we just uh, January was the last time. Oh, saw. yeah, I've grown like eleven inches. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that that's something that just seems weird about that. We have to check your growth chart when we get home. But you have grown a lot. You are very tall. Um, but I, 11 inches in a year, I just have a hard time wrapping my head around that. Mm. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Rena says, is Erin going to draw on her cast? Not this time. No. We didn't bring any of the stuff and, it's um, short. yeah, they don't stay on. We're not going to be doing, you know, last time we were doing a couple of like weeks and weeks of, you know, so he was trying to make it more enjoyable and tolerable <laughs> and he did a great job but not this time um stacy says how does she get her pjs on with her cast well anna mostly wears nightgowns anyway so i just wear like underwear and a nightgown yeah it's not it's not hard at all you pull it up over pull everything over done Corey wants to know what your giraffe's name is. This is um, Akula. Can I say hi? Hi. Her name is Akula, and she loves to fall and flip around. Sarah wants to know what you do when you're not able to move around as much. Well, what I do, I either like read something while I'm just like sitting down or doing something. Basically, all I do is like read or, or kind of play with a little toy or play with a kula because I can. <laughs> like that. <laughs> or just crawl around on the floor. Uh, Susan, we don't know yet what. I, I'm sure the house is, is relatively fine, except for maybe some uh, screens in our pool enclosure but we don't know yet because they still haven't um it looks like maybe the power is back on but the internet is not back up and we can't check our security cameras until the internet comes back up so i'm hoping over the weekend uh, maybe tomorrow maybe the next day at the latest we'll be able to finally get back onto our system and and check on things but but fran drew on the cast I, I didn't see who asked, but someone asked if Aaron is going live on Sunday. Sketchy Friendler live on Sunday? Yep. Yes. You guys have to vote when we throw that poll up. And... Yeah, we're going to put the poll up tomorrow. That we've been posting. So, so Aaron actually worked really hard to do videos ahead of time mm -hmm. so that they would all be done so he wouldn't have to work every day while we were away. So um, we've been posting those. They've been like pre-edited and scheduled and uh, we'll post the poll tomorrow and you guys can pick your favorite and he will color it live yeah. on Sunday, just like always. Just in a different location. And we're also planning to do some other fun live streams while we're here. Anna and uh, Aaron brought, you and daddy are gonna do what together? Snap circuits. Yep, some STEM learning stuff. And Aaron and I were talking about doing some cooking 
cooking lives. Maybe, maybe Aaron will do some baking. We'll Ooh, see. We'll I'm going to do baking too. I'm going to help you bake. Yeah, you want to help us bake? That'll be fun. Uh, Karen wants to know if you can write while you're in cast. That remains to be seen. Um, she does I have think to. I can. She does have to do schoolwork. So, well, you can just maybe not with your hands. Yeah. So, what's the other way that you write when you can't use your hands to write? I use my mouth. So, there's um, mommy bought me these little extender slash baby chewy kind of things. They're for babies because lots of babies chew on, like to chew on things, and they're for pencils. So you put them on the back of a pencil, so you, so you, if you want, you can bite on that chewy thing, so it doesn't, it doesn't break the pencil lead, and you don't chew on pencil and lead. Yeah, because a lot of AMCers don't have use of their hands at all, like their entire life because their elbows are stuck in flexion and their hands are, are stuck up by their, their tummy or their chest, they don't get to use their hands at all. So there's many AMCers who fully function throughout their lives just using their mouths, sometimes their feet. So she can write using her mouth, she can paint using her mouth. Uh, the other thing that we're looking at doing this time while we're down here is getting Anna a Wheelchair! Well, yes, you do have an evaluation for wheelchair, but that's not what I'm talking about. I was talking about from from Mary, your robot. Ooh, my Obi. Your Obi robot. I'll tell them what an Obi is, just yeah, in tell case them, I don't know. Tell them what an Obi is. Well, um, an Obi is basically like, it's basically a f in feed, it's a feeding robot. So it basically has like a base with little slots at the bottom so you can put food in those slots and then there's two buttons at the front the there's a green one and a red one you click the green one and there's there's this like pole like thing it's like a robot hand that goes up and then and then it has a little spoon in its in its hand or mouth whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it yeah and then you click the green button it lowers down, spins around, and you click you click the red button for it to stop spinning at whatever you want it to stop spinning at, and or whatever you want a bite of. You click the red button, and then the spoon goes down, scoops a bite, lifts up, and then you take the bite off the spoon. Yeah. Not needing to use your hands except for clicking those buttons. Yeah. Yeah, and the benefit of that is she can uh, feed herself with utensils, but it takes her a really, really, really long time. Really? Really long time. <laughs> you know, it, it takes her about three times, three three to four times sometimes, depending on what she's eating, uh, longer to eat than it takes Erin and I. So the nice thing about having the OB at home is that we can sit down as a family and have a meal, and she can feed herself in it in a timely manner while daddy and I sit there and eat and we don't have to help feed her and stuff. It just makes, you know, more a more independent meal for Anna. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna look into getting one of those and um, yeah, the wheelchair evaluation will be for her just plain regular manual wheelchair. We have another wheelchair uh power chair that we're gonna be raising stars for to get you next month, right? You want to tell them about that real quick? About I your, your I don't know about it. That's the uh, the one that we picked out the color and stuff for. Mhm. Mm yeah, but I I know about it, but I don't really know. Well, it's a it's a power chair, which means what? A power chair means like it's like a chair that that manually moves around with your hands. So it has a little like joystick, and a joystick's basically like a little like iPad kind of screen thing with a little knob that turns the... Board. I don't think it'll have a screen, but it will have the joystick. And so basically it's a way that she can also be, in, again, more independent. We always want to give her as much independence as possible. Because she has to use a wheelchair to get around when she's doing anything long distance, um, she will be able to drive herself. She's had She's had a power chair before. She got one when she was two and a half and drove herself around for a couple of years 
but then she outgrew it. And now she's outgrowing her manual chair, too. <laughs> so now what we're getting, we're getting a power and manual chair that can collapse. Well, just like we had before, um, except we're going to use insurance to get that manual chair. And then we're going we're gonna to use our, our money, our own money, to get your power chair. Um, <laughs> it's 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 good to have it's good to have both of them because the because the manual chair we can take on the airplane can't do that with the power chair because the airlines too many issues they they hurt them they they break them and they're way too expensive to be breaking them right and they can both fit in the vehicle yes so. Good stuff. It's it's all all things that have been coming down the pipeline because she's getting bigger, and she needs everything updated. <laughs> all right, I think it's time to say good night. Yes, it is time to say good night. Everybody's goodnight. everybody's getting tired. Yeah. Daddy's falling asleep. And I was so falling are you. Asleep. <laughs> Did the open eyes, close eyes trick work? Anna's getting bouncy and and crazy like she does when she's tired. <laughs> all right well i hope that explains everything to you guys about the casting process um everybody want to uh take a guess leave a comment below and guess what color you think she might get next time when she has the cast replaced and then we'll see who's right uh next week and in the meantime, we will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something fun together like the um, circuits live or cooking live or something tomorrow. Sound good? I want to do a cooking live. You want to do a cooking live? Do you want to do a cooking or a baking? Baking. You want to do baking live tomorrow? All right. I'm well. going to bake up a cupcake. You're going to bake a cupcake? A keto cupcake. I'll just talk to Daddy and powwow with Daddy and see what he wants to bake. And we'll have to get some get some grocery stuff. All right. And See, some mixers. And some mixers. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think we have a mixer, so we can only do what we can do by hand here. But all right, let's say good night to everybody. Okay. Here, here, here we go. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Do 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 do. do. Toodles. Good night, guys. We'll <laughs> good see you tomorrow. Night. Bye.